Okay, every year for Easter, we make fake footprints from the Easter Bunny. And so this is probably my last year because Cruz are our littlest one. This is gonna be the last time that he believes in this, probably. So, here we go. Show you how this is done. First, we gotta make the bunny prints. So I gotta do this. Let's see, I do a foot. And I do little toes. Now, I'm gonna cut these out. Then, I'm gonna put flour on and put footprints over to the kids' Easter baskets. My last year, I want to document it. I live in here 20 years of doing this with four children. It's been a lot. Did you ever think maybe you should just save your template? Yeah, but I've never saved this year to year, but thank you so much for always trying to make my life a little crazy. Make you realize that I'm crazy. <laughs> What's been the best reaction you've had from a kid? I guess the best one is that um, when Chassie was a little girl, or maybe Pete, and I kind of forget what child, but she said to me, they said, you know, we know Santa Claus isn't real when they figured that out. They said, but when we, um, we know the Easter Bunny's real because of these footprints. So that was something. So we had one more year in that one. Again, this is probably the last year. I think Cruz figured out Santa Claus last year, so he might be just playing me, but. It's a lot of work every Easter Eve to do this, but all I can tell you is it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. I'm aware that you can buy these probably pre-made, probably something that makes life easy, but I don't know. I've been doing it this way for so long. I this from my buddy Mark Silvestri many years ago. About 20 years ago to be precise. So look, there is my foot template. Now, Footprints over to the Easter baskets. Okay, now tomorrow morning we'll see the reactions and see if it's worth all that work. Morning, guys! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Look at what happened! What happened? Come over here! Eggs. Easter eggs! Oh my gosh! Come here! Look at what's over here! Cruz, you see that? Look at the prince. And he came out outside. How did he do that? He went to open the door. Yeah, but wasn't it locked? Maybe it was, maybe he had like our key, like he got it from inside from that door. No That's crazy, huh? What? He was a screwdriver. How did he get past Max? What? Maybe the Easter Bunny took Max with him. <laughs> what do you got over here? What do you leave you? Look at Oh, Pete did that. Mad Libs! Oh, that's pretty cool. And I don't know who's in mine. <laughs> yes! Who's in mine? Let's. We gotta look for. We gotta look for Easter eggs. I see one right in front of you. Easter eggs. Look at that. I can see one right there. Look at it. All right, go, go get it. Go get it. Well, it's a good thing the Easter Bunny hid those because oh, oh, I thought he forgot. This one's dusty. Dusty? <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe that's from last year. <laughs> That's me. That's Daddy. You know where the other one goes? All right. Oh, I see one. It's mine. It's my silly one. Oh, what up there? Oh, this is Chris's crazy one. Where else? I think we're missing a pink one. A pink one. Okay. Where it could be. 
Well, I think you're really just right by it. Whoa! Nice! Nice going, Chas. All right. Happy Easter! All right. That's how we do Easter in the Schwarm family. Come here. Do you like the Easter bunny? How do you know the Easter bunny is real? Uh, because I mean, I don't even know. Does he leave any marks behind? <coughs> what marks? Does he leave any tracks? <laughs> Where? Oh! That's crazy, huh? Alright, baby. Happy Easter.